I had some idea that you know entrepreneurship is what I want to do, not necessarily yet a vision of this particular company or this particular product that I want to make. It's just this is the lifestyle that I want to lead of creating these things and never really knowing what the next day is going to hold for me. Well, we can inspect this. This is a shipment from China. That said, I do know, and, and every time I, it, some challenges come up, I think, oh, I should write this down because I'm about to forget about how tough today was. But there's these days where you just come into work and you don't know if the company's gonna be there by the time you leave. And you just have to sit down and start solving the problems and start figuring it out. And it's, and it's really scary. That's a tough thing. I mean, there's just this terrible anxiety underneath it all of can we actually pull this off? When we started selling Carpe, the first antiperspirant formulated to work on your hands and feet, we started hearing from a lot of very grateful customers. And we realized how big of a problem this is. How many people suffer from sweaty hands and feet every day? You're the reason we made Carpe. Try it out at CarpeLotion.com. When I was a senior in high school, I got really sweaty hands and going to college interviews or standing in mass and like holding hands it was all really really awkward and embarrassing and so one day in high school we had this all school mass and right before the Our Father when everyone holds hands I just looked around and everyone was like wiping their hands against their pants frantically trying to get this like awkward embarrassing sweat off of them and I was finally just like why is there not a solution for gross sweaty hands. I started experimenting in my kitchen and you know trying new things and so fast forward uh, Casper and I are in the same scholarship program. This idea that I had you know over a year prior had kind of stuck with me. I didn't have any idea about how to start a company. I didn't even know where to begin. But I knew that Casper was really into this whole, you know, foreign entrepreneurship space and startup space. And so he quickly realized that we worked very well together. We had very different perspectives. We have different personalities. This problem, it's not that this problem was particularly alluring to me, it's that I really quickly realized that there was something special about David and me working together. That as long as I was working with this guy, we were gonna make it, no matter what we were working on. So I committed that summer, I said, you know, I'm gonna work with this guy, and if this is what he wants to do right now, then let's do it and let's make it happen. We say that the best thing to happen to this company is David and me meeting in the first place, but uh, the second best thing, the thing which we wouldn't be here without, is our investors, is Bootstrap Advisors, our investors and our mentors. And we were connected with them through Duke INE, through Howie Ree and Melissa and Doug. We were just talking with them to get advice about our product, about how we should market it, because we thought we were going to do a Kickstarter. And there are three Duke alumni, Bootstrap Advisors, pretty active in the Duke Entrepreneurship Network. And we went, we talked with them, and they said, hey, we want to invest. And that was the single best thing that happened to our company. S second best thing. First best thing was meeting David. And they just drilled us. They, they tore our ideas apart, everything uh, about the business. And it was great because every time they told us, well, this isn't going to work, this isn't going to work, this isn't going to work, we would say, okay, well, let's rethink it. And we'd go back to the drawing board and start thinking about how we can make this company work. You don't see the challenges so much when you're not in the middle of one. When you're in the middle of a rut in the company, all you're seeing looking back is, wow, it's, it's a miracle we've even made it this far. There's just been so many failures. But the fact is, you're almost always focused forward and on growing. And we're in a space right now where we have a very good plan. We've got very good traction. And all I'm seeing is, you know, a strong record of success of this company. And that's all I'm focusing on is kind of the growth and just charging ahead. It's definitely been a big learning curve, but I can say one of the, one of the biggest successes we've had is how much we have learned. So it's been a, it's been a fun ride so far. So it's it's just getting started though.